What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes, where today we're taking out the newest swag ball. I think it's the newest. Well, it's the newest with the other ones as well, I guess. But it's the new, uh, the new Black Pearl Anchor, uh, much like the Bloody, Bloody Ocean Pearl. Uh, this is basically a remix of that ball, remake of that ball, a couple different colors. This is more of a green and a dark black grayish color. So uh, they did do the remake with the, the Treasure, which was a bright blue and whitish color. Uh, those lighter colors make the ball hook too early. So these dark colors hopefully make it to where we see a little bit more down lane reaction. Uh, today we actually have it on a 44 foot lead condition, but there has been some shots that's been thrown on it. So I really wanna see how this ball reacts on a little bit of transition. We know it's gonna hook when the lanes are fresh. How is it gonna react when the lanes are a little bit beat up? They're not beat up too much. There's only been like two or three games bowled on this pair, but I still wanna see with a little bit of oil down there, do we get some kick down lane or is it more smooth and rounded? Remember the Bloody Ocean Pearl, it kicked down late. I compared that ball to a lot of different balls because that was the best bowling ball I've seen in a long time in, the, in that time. And that's why I won some events with it there too. So we're gonna take it out here on the league, on the 44 foot league condition. I did the same layout as what I did on the Bloody Ocean. I'm pretty sure I did 45 by five by 45 pin up uh, above the bridge or a little bit, or well, it's actually more close to above my middle finger. But we're gonna take it out here and we're gonna see what it's got here in a minute. So stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, here we go. Black Pearl Anchor, as you can see again. Dark colors, I know we like this. Dark colors with a little bit of green. Looks pretty good. Another one with the pin up above my middle finger. We're gonna try to play a little straighter. See if it gets through there. See if we can get around the lane. We're just gonna see what this thing can do overall. And again, we're on that used league condition, so you just never know what's gonna happen. Here we go. Try and start a little straighter around that 9, 10, 11 range. That actually picked up. Might have been a little closed off, not quite as far right as I would have liked to have gotten it, but still picked up really nice. Let's move five left. Let's see what it does from here. picking up the dry and it's getting going. It's really getting going. Okay, put your ball away. Okay, go ahead. All right, well, we gotta keep moving. So let's go five more left. Now I'm standing on 30 with the front of my toe, the middle of my shoe. Let's see where we can get this going. Wow, that thing's picking up and driving. That's picking up and driving a little bit more than what that Summit did. Anybody that just saw that Summit review, this one's picking up a little bit more down lane. It's hard to say whether I think it's a lot like the Bloody Ocean Pearl yet, but so far so good. All right, going five more left off of that stone seven pin or nine pin or whatever ended up being. Wow, this thing is really picking up and going. Sheesh, all right. So let's keep going left and see how much we can go around the lane with it. As of right now, it's not looking like it's as clean as what the Bloody Ocean Pearl was, which to be expected again we're on a used condition so it's not very uh it's not like there's a ton of oil in the middle of the lane right now it's been kind of beat up a little bit let's go a couple more left let's see what this ball does from the middle part of the lane i 
that's pretty dirty. That's actually real similar to the Summit, but a little bit stronger down lane, if I'm comparing balls. Now remember, that's what I do with the Bloody Ocean. The Bloody Ocean was one that I compared everything to because I loved the ball reaction. This one, so far, is looking a lot like that. Let's finish that 10 board, or that five board move now. Throw another one there, start getting around it a little bit more. That's what, see, the Summit did that too. When I got it down lane, got it to the right too late, it didn't want to pick up that spot. But then as soon as I shut it down, it overhooked. So then one, but once I moved left, it was fine. So let's get up against the ball return and see what it does in there. Ooh, I got a handful of that one. Ooh, somehow got the four pin out. I went hooked early because it stayed at my hand too long. Didn't get it clean enough in the front. Still struck though. And you can see it's still picking up the lane and striking. Or still picking up the lane and, and hooking. That's good. And I'm not even wiping it off. I'm gonna try that one one more time. Try not to grab all over it. That's better. A little bit cleaner off my hand and it picks up even more down lane and four pins. I guess that's kind of to be expected. Didn't pick up as much in the front, in the middle. Well, let's get in front of the ball return. This thing's curving. She's curving a bundle. You're not seeing like sharp movement down lane. You're seeing a lot of movement overall. In front of the ball return, it gets up and goes really nice. Let me see if I can move just a little bit further left and see if I can't get it to really go around the lane, see what it does. Will it use up energy in flat 10? Because this one I'm gonna have to throw it at the gutter more or less from even further left. No, it's not gonna flat 10, it's gonna switch seven. This ball's an awful lot like the Summit, to be completely honest. All right, there you go. So uh, it's not exactly a Bloody Ocean Pearl, although I can't really tell. I think I need to get a couple more games on it. I think I need to throw some more shots, see it on more fresh conditions and whatnot. But as far as I can tell, this ball reaction is really good. So Swag is making some, some big strides in the things they're doing um, between the New Year thing that they just came out with and this one. Uh, I think they're moving in the right direction. I think they still need to really work on their shiny pearls. They're gonna need some shiny pearls to be able to compete with the market but I think they're moving in the right direction. So this ball has always been good for them. If this truly is the same as like a Bloody Ocean Pearl, we're in good shape. Uh, and I'm probably gonna start comparing balls to it. We're gonna see what it looks like on a fresh condition. I might redo another review of this ball out there on a fresh condition, but for now, this gives you a really good idea of what this one's capable of. So make sure to hit that link in the description and don't forget to buy my books as well. I got two new books out there. Um, there's technically three, but I don't have any of the, the approach one available right now. You can get the approach one at Amazon. They print those on demand, but the two I have on hand uh, that I actually will write you a note and sign it to send to you with it are, are over at BowlerX.com. It's the Art of Revolution and the, uh, the uh, uh, Mastering the Mental Game. So make sure to hit the links in the description over at BowlerX.com. Uh, and until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.